everyone. Great to connect with you again today. This Sunday, we gather for worship at 8.30 and 11. This Sunday begins outdoor worship at 8.30. 11 o'clock service will be indoors and streamed as usual. I'll be preaching from Psalm 11, thinking about when the foundations are crumbling, and we will receive Holy Communion at both services. A couple of weeks ago, our worship service, including the sermon, focused on the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. This event, recorded in the second chapter of Acts, is a mysterious and glorious outpouring of God's Spirit upon the followers of Jesus. One of the fascinating dynamics of this event is that it doesn't lead the followers of Jesus just to think about how blessed they are, even though that's true. It leads them to think about how they can most clearly and effectively share Jesus with those who do not know. Now, this is an idea that came to them out of the blue. This is an expression of God's plan from the beginning. Every every uh, person that God puts his call upon, every group of persons in which God puts his call upon, isn't intended to create an exclusive society that's difficult to get into. Rather, it creates a society of welcome to which all are invited. And in fact, the ultimate purpose of God's people is not to experience the transformation of God, as awesome as that is, but to experience the transformation of God in order to be voices, witnesses, be the presence of God to others. We see this modeled in Pentecost as God gives the followers of Jesus the ability to speak to people in languages that those followers previously do not know. I firmly believe that God still gives the followers of Jesus the ability to speak in unknown languages. Sometimes the languages that are understandable by others, sometimes they aren't. And some people have that gift, some people don't. But I believe that God gives all of us the ability to learn how to speak the language of others even if it's not a language that, that, that is necessarily native to us. We live in a world in which language isn't limited to the likes of French or Korean or Tagalog or Urdu or Swahili. Sometimes the languages that divide us are more subtle. Sometimes it's more the likes of age or education, of wealth or status, of rural or urban or politically left or politically right. All of these things tend to divide us and create barriers to communication. Our calling as followers of Jesus is to do everything we can to help people hear. It's important to remember that God doesn't arrange Pentecost so that the people hear differently, but that the followers speak differently. All of us have a tendency to want others to adjust to us. And God seems to be telling us that our calling is to adjust to others. That shouldn't surprise us because that's how God's been operating from the beginning. My preacher professor used to tell us that the best communicators are always thinking not so much of how we want to say things as how we can say things in a way that will most likely be heard. And this isn't in any sense watering down the truth or changing the core of the gospel. It's about speaking the truth, about sharing the core of the gospel in a way that people can hear and understand and receive. All of this reminds me of a prayer by John Bailey in his devotional classic, A Diary of Private Prayer. Let me share this prayer, pray this prayer for you and for me. O Lord, the desired of all nations, in the knowledge of your love and power, there is salvation for all the peoples of the earth. Quickly bring the day when everyone shall acknowledge you as Lord over all. Quickly bring the day when our earthly society shall become the kingdom of Christ. Quickly bring the day when your presence and the strong hand of your purpose shall be found not only in the hearts of a few wise and brave people, but throughout the whole world, throughout the whole nation, in the quarters of power, in the workshop, the office, in the marketplace, in the city, and in the country. And whatever I myself can do toward the fulfillment of your purpose, give me grace to begin today. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. May that be your prayer as it is mine. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day.